again, there's a, a certain kind of decorum we maintain in at the table, and I, I'd appreciate if that was the case in, in the full room, okay? And I don't want to have to say that again, because I might ask for people to be removed. Yeah. Are there other? Yes. Well, it, it was interesting for me to see this development from day one. Uh, and I'm the sort of person who sees everybody's points of view. Uh, and I really hope to arrive together at something that pleases more than just one side or the other side. Uh, I want to speak to access and egress. Um, I want to speak directly to um, Councillor Sparkman in his comment that the two lane does have, a, a, ha, does have an advantage. Uh, one is that there's a wider sight line as you have out onto Main Street, and that has been mentioned. The other advantage is that we know what we have. And my feeling comes back again and again that I want to know exactly what it is that we are approving. Um, so that's why in the interior mix, I would like to see drawings. I would like to see exactly where they are. Um, if there are details that have to be worked out uh, with the building code, why can't, we, why can't that happen now before we say yes, go ahead? Um, and it's similar with the building architecture. We've been given um, more or less rough drawings here, um, an artistic rendition perhaps. And I keep thinking that that is the same as having um, an artistic description when what we really want is a contract. Because we're going to be signing this contract. Um, so I would like to see uh, more clarity with the drawings as well. Um, I, I, I don't expect to see full workup, you know, page after page of, of architects' drawings, but other developers, when they come to the committee with the building of the, well, even approaching this side, have come with drawings with an architect's name on the bottom. And I think that's appropriate. And that would solve a lot of problems. Um, when I went through the, actually, that's all I should say now. I've got more. Okay. 